What's up everybody, hello and welcome back to Surviving the Aftermath, a new update hit the servers like a couple of days ago, update number 3, the expeditions that introduce, well, some new events and vehicles and cars and well, we can already see this new tag in exploration and exploration it's called actually and this one unlocks the garage for repairing and storing cars vehicles found on the world map must first be brought to a garage for repairs before they can be utilized by specialists garage requires energy to function and oil and other materials to repair vehicles let's research this one here so with um the garage that we can build now i think we have it somewhere over here there it is we it's rather cheap actually we do have the resources so we can build it and let's find a suitable spot here we have some spot there actually that is working out for this um, beauty there we do need a specialist in sleepy hollow though for repairing um vehicles i think so one of the specialists is actually coming towards us anyway it's bonnie the fighter which is quite low on health so we can send her now to sleepy hollow where she's going to replenish her health and also well probably using something with the garage there we also have someone over here that can now continue scavenging in the region out here and nadia can continue oh there are some fun boxes there um no let's continue also scouting down here so our goal is to find some vehicles some cars now in the world map on the world map um, that we can use then for exploration so they speed up the exploration quite a bit so you can then just you know fast travel everywhere you want to and um, without um, having to use so many action points all the time and over here I see we have an observatory with 459 um, research points science points that we can definitely use um, and down here we have another point of interest with a nuclear plant very good 67 percent um danger chance though so that's a bit of a problem and those are just crashed planes and helicopters no vehicles on the map and i don't think they come in retro um perspective on the map here so after the update they don't appear on already colonized and explored areas so i think we just need to continue exploring until we find them that is something now another while well, the garage is being built another new feature is the trade system has been overhauled a bit so when we look at the trade menu now we can see that we do have reputation so with the reputation we can grow this reputation we become um a reputed town or we could also be a well with quite a hostile reputation there it depends on how we behave i guess and Right now, we are a burgeoning town set up around an old forge. Oh no, actually, that's Little Anvil. That's not us. So here we can, you know, have a look at the um, camps. So we have Little Anvil here, our reputation with them. And then we have the Brotherhood, our reputation with them, and Alexandria. Stuff like that. And depending on your reputation, you can trade with them certain things. So in this case here for Little Anvil, we do have a, yeah, we do have a free active trade route so we can use one more we could for example trade with them um junk or metals or food or planks depends on that so we, we do have the resources for that or the well reputation this one here costs us almost nothing and this one here costs us quite a bit so we have fuel here and i think we should oh this is exporting actually so this is not importing with that we would get reputation with them you know if we export something to them so we do have we would have the tools, but I want I don't want to use them. There we have also exporting fuel, something hmm, perhaps not the good, not the best. We could do something with the metal here. So let's go with the metal. That cost us a bit there of reputation, and we should be getting that metal then in 12. Not in 12 days, but in I don't know how fast the delivery is. It doesn't state that here. Unfortunately, you're trading with that society while well, we're trading with them. That's good. Meanwhile, the garage is being constructed as quickly as possible. And what I can see also is that we don't have that much food anymore. So we should also have a look at some of the new options that we have researched with the food, which is over here, the greenhouse, insect farm, mill and bakery. Now with the um, mill, we could use grain that we get. Do we actually have grain? No, we don't have green, so I can't actually do that. So 
we don't have that. But what we can have is a greenhouse, for example, more effective and reliable way to grow food. Inside greenhouse food can be grown even during catastrophes. Now, we only need a bit of electricity for this building and otherwise we can also place it on um, dirt soil there. So let's have a road over here and then we can have those greenhouses here. Let's build two of them, right? They don't cost that much either. We have everything that is required and let's have two side by side just here. And they can grow us a bit more food then. Then also the street going over there. Meanwhile, garage has been finished, already repairing something it seems. And yeah, with that one now we can have vehicles then that we can use or find on the world map. And you're totally right, of course, I also built normal houses there and not the two-story houses. So let's get rid of this one here and build a two-story house instead. Right, so let's have a look at that. We should have the two-story house over here and we can just place it in there as well. Resources are not a big problem so far, even though planks will be low then. With that, we do have the sawmill two working there actually. Yes, yeah, so hopefully that's still fine, but we are producing everything that we need. And yeah, the greenhouses here are also coming up now. My specialists are ready for action. Let's go over here. A tribunal camp. Minor defeat. Oh, they're pretty strong. The wolf gang. Another wolf gang. We already had quite a few of them. Um, Roberts is way too far in no man's land there. So there's nothing of interest. Um, where's my outpost? There is my outpost. Quite some distance to it. But I want to get Roberts to, to this side here actually. Where we already have an outpost. Or we can build a new one if we want to. Right, there would be somewhere over here then. Yes, let's have another outpost over here. That's a good spot there because we don't have anything here yet and we have lots of unexplored areas there. Nothing so far, no vehicles found at the moment. Perhaps that changes then soon. And the two-story house should be built then, hopefully before the nightfall. And it's raining now, so hopefully now. The greenhouses are finished, so we can now start um, growing something in them, I think, for the potato. And yeah, we also need, of course, some employees for them. That are already working. And yeah, looking fine so far. We should also look out for the electricity there once again. Some components, but we do have the rest because I really don't want to lack any electricity once we build some more buildings that need electricity over here. And let's have a look at my research though real quick. I think we have, yeah, biofuel. That is something we also need um, for the vehicles. So refines require oil made from sunflower seeds. Okay, so I think this will unlock the sunflower seeds then and unlocks the refinery for manufacturing fuel from sunflower seeds. Refineries are essential in providing a steady source of fuel for the colony's exploration needs. Without fuel, vehicles cannot be repaired. That's it, we have researched it. And a good thing about that is fuel is in very high demand, so we can also export it to other colonists then and colonies. So naturally I would think it's with the power, but I don't think it's here. And I really don't like this building menu here. They really have to overhaul that. I don't want to click here all the time to see the other buildings. Let's just have two rows then of buildings, you know, and make the symbols a bit smaller. That would actually solve it right away. Here we have the refinery. And yeah, quite expensive actually. Do we have now the sunflower seeds? No, we don't have them unlocked. I must be overlooking something here because we still can't unlock any new seats here, even though I've just researched it. And we still have homeless people for some reasons. They're not 
finishing construction. Oh, it's really taking that long. Low on food. Yes, food is a bit low, but it's not a big deal, you know, once we harvest our crops again. Water is looking fine, though, and electricity should also be built here. Um, we do have enough parts, though, and components. Metal is a bit of a problem right now. And I wanted to have a second outpost. So we have one here. And then we do need a second outpost. That we built here then and we do have a group of survivors i'm not going to click on that because of course i played the game with the update before recording and this group of survivors here is bugged so if i click on them a dialog box will open that i can't close anymore and i can't choose anything from that so this is definitely a bit bugged since the update there um specialists are ready again so she can explore over here oh there's also something there very good she could go oh this is the edge of the map actually so there's nothing to explore here anymore we can only go up here if we wanted to or we could also scavenge a few things if we wanted to like fun boxes parkers no we don't need that yeah i think we need to go down here observatory why not let's go there he can explore here and she can explore over here. Nothing so far. I think that's it. No, he's still able to go over here. Where we have more things to explore then. And she's still waiting in Sleepy Hollow. Repairing. And low on food makes me a bit nervous there. But just a tiny bit. Stockpiles are also pretty full, and we've also finished construction of the two-story house there. Very good. That's quite important. And for the happiness, we still haven't built the game arcade or the arena. I think we're going with the arena next, because I really want to see how it looks like. And yeah, it should be over here, you know, out in the open. This just gives me a Spartacus wipe here, so we can have it here. Where the greenhouses are. Far outside right where there's dirt because you only fight in the dirt yeah i think that's the best spot then still here that's actually also a good spot but we are probably getting more people then so let's have it here and the next outpost is finished so we can now choose a new outpost location and in this case as you can see we get lots of things to uncover here so let's have the outpost yeah, just about here. There we have it now. And my scouts can now just transport goods then to the outpost here. And we speed up the scouting with that. Okay, we're harvesting a few goods here right now. Crops, so my food is going up again. But it's still too low. I really want to... I rather want to you know, cap on food. And they're still all going their normal ways here. That we have something new to scout again. No vehicles so far. And she can go over here. Right, we could also have another outpost depot down here then, I think. If it continues. The map. And they left. Hopefully the next group of survivors will be actually a bit more talkative than those guys there. And my nuclear storage depot is coming to it's capped to its limit and I think we will need to build another one. Put the storage somewhere. 
There it is, nuclear waste storage. And let's just have it also over here then. So that we have two of them. And concrete, yeah, metal is really running low. And also my planks, so I should probably also have a look at another logging camp. Sawmill, that we have it. I do have enough people, right? Yeah, nine carriers at the moment, so that's totally fine. Nope, that was not the right spot here. That's it. It's a bit hard to see the road there when you're in the building menu. Construction of the arena has also been finished. And there we have now the arena. Someone is working here and... Oh, it's actually consuming some electricity as well. Right now, no one wants to fight. And my specialists are ready again. The tribunal. Oh, that looks like a very dangerous building as well. Yes, we can't attack that. Here we have the research. Very good. It was successful. 300, actually. That's a lot. While he continues down here. And she continues over here in the desert right now. And where is my garage again? Over here. So repairing is full now, it seems. And I want to use my other specialist again. This one here. So she can also go over here now where we have the outpost. So that I have two specialists over here. Roberts and Bonnie. Both of them can explore this area. And the planks. So the planks that we use here and metal is also something. But we should have something for that. Underground metal. Extractor. There it is. We do have enough electricity. Do we have another metal ground? There is one more. So let's use this one too. Metal extractor. Just about here. And then let's also have a dirt road going over here so that we can have two at least because we're really low on resources there at the moment. And there's someone fighting too now. Yeah, they're just really um, boxing at each other. No one's looking though. No one's watching. At least they're having some fun, right? I mean, we do have, look at that, quite a lot of happiness now. Reading books while rested and watching a movie. Yeah, the movie theater is quite popular. With whatever they're watching in there. Who knows? Watching a deer running. Well, there are no deers here in this wildlife, I think. So that might be an interesting change. And the specialists are ready once more. She can have one more go at the research there. Very good. She didn't lose any health. She was pretty low already. Collapsed high rises, some concrete there. And the Wolfgang once again. So we have two more here. And there's the end of that map here too. So not that much to explore here anymore actually. And we are once again low on food. Greenhouses are working for us now too. This one's here coming to an end soon though. And this one's a big one. Yeah, we're really lacking lots of metal right now. We're trading though, so who knows when this one uh, will arrive. 
And yep, perfect. We also finished this one here now, the second nuclear storage waste. We need that, so we can clear now this puddle there and then those puddles here. And perhaps also a bit over here, that should be fine. Nuclear plant with some research points again, 600 of them. She, hmm, yeah, she can continue down here while he is exploring this area. We have yet to find a vehicle. Shopping center with some fun boxes. Nothing exciting. We don't need any fun boxes for now. And we do have a new catastrophe coming down the meteor shower. We already had that at once. And yeah, it's not that dramatic though. Um, we will need some resources for repairing those. So we definitely will need more metal. That is important. And we're harvesting now this field here, so food should skyrocket. And we've also finished the sawmill over here. Very good. And let's move the work area a bit further away over here. That should be fine. And how many carriers do I have? Seven. So let's use one of my stockpiles to gather some planks that are still lying around here. And the same goes with the food uh, storage which can also gather some berries that we still have over here. Very good, he's over here now at the outpost depot. So we could collect some stuff and bring it right to the outpost then if there are some interesting things here lurking around. Also Bonnie the fighter. Okay, some planks there, but we don't have an outpost here. I'm starting to wonder a bit about the vehicles there, because we don't have that many areas to explore anymore. Oh, and that recycler needs a new pile of plastic trash bit far away though and yes we are ramping up some planks again very good with the net next sawmill and over here we really should finish then this second metal extractor we already have all the resources very good Okay, nothing so far, just some camps. We probably will have to um, destroy some of those camps then. And very good. Also the second nuclear storage waste is now filling up. Oh, we forgot her. Another nuclear power plant. Yeah, we have two of them side by side. Look at that, so close to each other. We do have enough research points. Battery stacking. Centralized repairs. We could have a maintenance depot. I think that might be quite interesting for what's coming. In this case, let's finish the production tree. So we have this one unlocked now too. With the large battery. And over here we can have the... Yeah, centralized repairs. A maintenance depot. And very good, we've also finished the second metal extractor where one is working now. We still have six carriers. And we had this one here, rabbit season. Let's give him the permission. And he came back with 13 food, 13 venison. Okay, so metal should really be going up now, please. 
It's a bit strange how we really, really lack so much metal. But we have two metal extractors now. That should really be enough. Explosive storage. Rather not look at that. Don't want to lose a specialist after all. Wolf scare Lang. Lair and yeah, that's it for now with those specialists once again. So no vehicles so far, only the garage. And we need to find a way how we can actually place those crops here because they don't appear in my list there, at least at the moment. We'll find some we'll find a way a solution for that. Stay tuned. <laughs> 